Hi everybody. Thank you so very much for joining me again today. My name is Sharon and I'm back again with Fanny. And we are here to finish our talk about our theme of the week. You may recall that our monthly theme was changes. We talked about different kinds of changes in and around us. We talked about earth changes. Then we talked about changes we can make to nurture our planet Earth. And now this week, our very last theme of the year is called Before and Now. And those are the changes that you have made on your road to becoming a kindergartner. That's right. You've made lots of changes. If you think back over the last year, the different changes that have happened to you, maybe you learned to print your name. Maybe you learned to tie your shoe. Maybe you learned to ride a bike. Maybe you got glasses. Maybe you went to the dentist for the first time. All sorts of new things have happened and you have learned new things over, over the last year. And then a whole lot has changed since you were a baby or even a toddler like Max's age. You can walk and run and jump and climb. You've grown so much and now you get to go to school after the summertime. That is so, so exciting. So to honor that, to honor your, your completion of your pre-kindergarten year and the start of your entry into kindergarten, we have a special book. And the book is actually the name of our weekly theme. So let's have a look at it. It's a big book. It is called Before and Now by Isabel Campoy and Pam Schiller. Are you ready, Fanny? It's a big one. It's an important one. Before and now. Hello, friends. This is our book. We are authors. Authors. The title of our book is Before and Now. That looks interesting. Before and Now. Should I bring it a little bit closer? Hmm, it looks like they might be in a classroom. Before, I didn't know how to skip. Now I skip all the way to school. Before, I couldn't reach the cookies. Now I can do it easily. Before, I didn't like sharing my toys. Now I share with my friends and they share with me too. I bet you share better with your brothers and sisters at home because you're growing up. Before, I didn't know how to get my turn. Now I raise my hand to speak. I wait for my turn after others speak. That's making a thoughtful choice. Before I only knew a few letters. Now I can write my name. I 
I wonder if you can print your name. I bet you can print some letters of your name. Maybe you can practice that later today. Before, I cried if I couldn't do something. Now I know how to ask for help. That's a very big step. That's a very big change. Before, I had trouble remembering to say please and thank you. Now I say them all the time. And my teacher likes that. I bet your mom or your dad or other, other family members at home like that too and really appreciate that. Before, I could count to ten. Now I know that ten is more than five. That's right. Ten is more than five. I wonder if you could count out ten items at home. Maybe you've got some buttons you can count out. Maybe you could separate your buttons into different groups of numbers. Before, I was afraid to speak if the teacher called on me. Now I love show and tell. Before, I didn't put away the toys. Now I always clean up what I take out. That's important. Kindergarten, kindergartners know those things. They're able to clean up after themselves and even help moms or dads or other family members at home clean up too. Keep the whole house tidy and organized. Before, we only spoke one language. Now, we have many friends because we speak their languages. I think there's different words we've learned too and different signs as well. And that is a language. Before, I didn't have many details in my drawings. Now, I am an artist. Before, I wasn't ready to begin kindergarten. Kindergarten, here we come. Do you think they're ready now? Now I am ready. This is going to be an exciting change. It is going to be an exciting change. And something that you'll be ready for. You still have the summer months to start preparing yourself but it's going to be exciting. Very much like the pre-kindergarten pre year that you've had as well. Exciting. Lots of friends, lots of new things to learn, different things that you can commit to, like using your kind words, your helping hands, your big voice, and your listening ears. Those are all very important in kindergarten. Now, I have this fun little game to play. It's just kind of fun. I was hoping you could help me. I, I want to sequence these, these pictures from youngest until oldest, and I'm wondering if you can help me. What do you think is the youngest one, Fanny? Yeah, I think you're right. She looks like maybe she's Max's age, so should we move her over here? Okay, so this is number one. There's a toddler. So where do you think the next one, the next, the next stage should be? Hmm. Which one, Fanny? This one? I think you're right. So there's the youngest. There's the next youngest. 
Hmm, this one's tricky. Do you think this one's next? Do you think that one's next, Fanny? No, I'm just teasing. I think this one, right guys? So maybe there's a toddler like Max's age. That looks like maybe she's your age, Fanny, and your age at home. Maybe you have an older sister going to school who might look that age. What about the next one? Yeah, I think you're right, Fanny, this one. And then this one, you are right. And then this one at the end. So I wonder what things make you think that this is the order that goes in. Maybe shortest to tallest? I think so. Maybe you, you're looking at the clothes that the children are wearing versus what the adults are wearing and can see a difference. Maybe the haircut is different. And I think the oldest person is wearing glasses. A lot of older grandparents, like our grandparents' age, they wear glasses. So those are all good clues that showcases how people change before they were little. Now they are big. Before they were young, now they are old. That's an interesting game, isn't it, Fanny? Okay, let's put that back down. And I just I just wanted to show you some things that are in in this book. It's food around the world because in our book Before and Now, it mentioned that they've learned new languages or even new phrases because of other friends. So this book kind of shows different photos of, of different foods around the world. So we're just going to look at a few of those photos. I won't read the whole book, but we can look at them. So people live almost everywhere on the earth. They need shelter, food, and water to survive. And there you see some rice and some apples and some vegetables and some milk. Now I just want to show you if you remember one particular page here. The food pyramid. Do you remember the food pyramid? This is the grains group. So things like breads and half of your grains should be whole grains. The green is your vegetable group. The, the red is your fruit group. The blue is your milk group. And this one, the purple, is the meat and bean group. So you need parts of all of those groups to stay healthy and to grow in a, into a strong kindergartner. So if you remember, food from animals is a good source of protein. Those are the types of things you need for sure. There's some more pictures of some protein, meat. And there's vegetables, stir fry shrimp, beef or pork with vegetables. I'll show a couple more here. But remember that food pyramid. That's the one I wanted to show you, the milk, the milk and dairy. So there's milk, cheese, yogurt. You need those things to stay strong and healthy. But let's look for the grains picture. Okay, grains are eaten by people all over the world. Some grains are made into cereal. People need food and water to live. They need nourishing foods to keep their bodies healthy and their minds sharp. 
So like you at home getting ready for kindergarten, you need to eat healthy items from the food pyramid to keep your body healthy and your mind sharp. So if we think about what healthy foods are, just going to set that down there. If we think about what healthy foods are, we should be able to look at some photos and tell right away if it's healthy or not healthy. What do you think? It's got lots of healthy things in it, doesn't it? Protein from the hamburger is healthy. Lettuce is also healthy. How about this one? Healthy? Yes. Fruit is healthy for us. How about this? These are different breads. Can you see the different kinds that are there? Tortillas and bagels and a croissant. That's, that's that crescent-shaped one, a croissant. And sliced bread, sourdough bread. It's healthy. Hot cereal. That also is healthy. It would be part of the grains group. How about this? Do you think that's healthy? Ice cream can be healthy. It can be a treat, but it's also part of the dairy group. But those sprinkles on top, are they a treat? They're just a treat. They're not very healthy. You're right. Okay, let's do a couple more. How about this? Oops, sorry. Milk. Healthy? Yes, dairy has calcium in it. That helps our teeth and our bones grow very strong. And that's the same as cheese. Cheese is also a dairy product that helps our, our bones and our teeth grow strong. Okay. How about this one? Is that healthy? This kind of cereal looks like it's more of a treat cereal. So it's okay every now and then, but every day it's not very healthy for us. Treats like candy or chocolate or sprinkles that were on our ice cream in that photo or very sugary cereals like this, they're not so healthy. They're okay to have once in a while, but not every day. Right, Fanny? We want to keep, we want to keep our minds sharp. We want to keep our muscles strong and our bodies healthy. So we need to eat well. Right, Fanny? Should I show them that last photo that we talked about before we do some exercises? Let's have a look at this photo. This is a very special photo. And it's a very funny photo. And I'm going to very carefully try to open it up for you. Can you see that photo? Can you see that photo? Guess what? That's me. And that is my twin sister, Stephanie, sleeping right beside me. So the same as the, as the theme of the week. Before I was a baby, now I'm a grown up. Isn't that kind of funny? That was just after we were born. And you know what? Before my sister was a baby and now she's a grown up. So changes, we all go through so many changes. And I wish this wasn't so old, but it's curled up and very hard. But I wanted to make sure you had a bit of a sneak peek. It would be fun for you to look at some of your baby photos, I bet. Maybe you could ask moms or dads or other, other family members. 
to take them out and have a look at them. And then you could really see how you have changed. And when you eat healthy foods, how, you, how your body grows stronger and you get bigger and you get taller. So healthy foods are important, but also exercising is important every day. So let's do an exercise before we close out our circle time, okay? You ready? You put your right arm in, you put your right arm out, you put your right arm in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Did you do that one with me? Okay, try this one. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You ready? You ready? You put your right ear in, you put your right ear out, you put your right ear in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Okay, I want you all to jump up right now. Get ready. One, two, three. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Good job, Fanny. Okay. So that is it for us today. Talking about before and now. It's an exciting theme as we get ready to start thinking about kindergarten. So let's close out this circle like the one we did for our green circle the same way, okay? Because that was a fun one. Ready? We clap and say goodbye. We clap and say goodbye with our friends at circle time. We clap and say goodbye. We dance and say goodbye. We dance and say goodbye with our friends at circle time. We dance and say goodbye. We wink and say goodbye. We wink and say goodbye with our friends at circle time. We wink and say goodbye. Okay, Fanny, you ready for your part? We blow a kiss and say goodbye. We blow a kiss and say goodbye with our friends at circle time. We blow a kiss and we say goodbye. Bye, friends. See you next time.